Right. Decided to give you some of that motivation while I was cooking my dinner. I'm not really cooking. Hey everybody, I thought I would give you that uh, motivation Monday after all in video form. I don't feel like writing it all down, I really don't. I'm cooking dinner, quote unquote cooking, really I'm heating up dinner. So I'm doing one of my packets, the aloo mutter, aloo mutter, diced potato and pea curry. I've got some um, TT or Tia, which means aunt. Maria gave me some of her leafy greens that she had a bag of. I've got the last of this hummus I need to eat before it goes bad. And I've got the boiling bag quinoa with cooking with the aloo mutter. So my bowl is here. So what I'm gonna do, I think it's all done. It's been boiled for a while now. And get my scissors so I can cut this boiling bag open. Um, I don't think I need a light, but I'll plug one in anyway, just in case. But I don't think I need one on me. I think there's enough light coming through. It's still daytime. It's uh, daylight savings time. It's so nice, right? So it is, it's like almost 7, 6.40. All right. So I got my quinoa boiling bag. Water is dripping off of it, draining off of it, rather, into the sink. And I'm just going to snip this top piece uh, off. Ooh, I got to get my, ooh, it's hot. Get my tongs, and I squeeze the bag, squeeze the bag over the sink. Squeeze it to squeeze the excess water out. It's the easiest way i found to do it. I used to do it with my hands, but it's so hot. That water is boiling hot water, so you don't want to be putting that on your hands. Anywho, so for Motivation Monday, what I was saying was, in the previous video, is figure out a way you can be a better you or prove yourself be the best you that you can be. Um, what can you do this week? And I had suggested taking your significant other out on a date or your child out on a date. Children need that. And that'll help you be a better parent to your child. Uh, just talk. Let them talk about whatever it is they want to talk about. If you can. Um, set up some boundaries. But even if it is, means sex. Be open to receive and hear what they have to say. The questions they have to ask. Without being judgmental um, about it all. So that's the hard part. Don't judge them. Let them open up and be honest with you about whatever it is they want to talk about. Whether that be sex, whether that be their sexual orientation, whether that be their, uh, they don't want to go to college, um, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Let them open up and talk to you about whatever it is. Get some more of these greens in here. And take care of yourself. You got to take care of yourself. All right, look at that. Let me show you. Greens, quinoa, and the aloo mutter, and a splash of a fork full of hummus on the side right there. I'm going to mix that all up. Good eating right there. And I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, nutritional yeast that Miss M2 gave me. You see my Instagram, you'll see the picture of the, um, sorry about that. If you see my Instagram, you'll see the picture that I um, made. She gave me organic multigrain bread, heirloom tomatoes sliced on top, uh, hummus on the first toast the bread, put the hummus on, garlic, I think it was garlic roasted garlic or something, hummus on that bread, a slice of a big old heirloom tomato, some avocado sliced on top of that, and sprinkle the nutritional yeast. I had to tell Maria, the come here so I could smack her. <laughs> if you're from the South, 
then you would know what I mean when somebody says something's good enough to smack your mama or smack your grandma. That's how good that was. That's my new favorite meal. So um, once I get back to the East Coast, I will be buying that on the regular. Might even have to invest in a cooler <laughs> just for that. I also think I'm going to put a little bit of um, peppercorn in this. And um, I have another thing of, um, whatchamacallit, um, coconut amino acids, but it's in the backpack. I used up the last one the other day, and that's unfortunate. And I forgot to pull it out of the backpack, and I can't reach the backpack from here. So we're going to have to forego that tonight because that would probably be really good on this. But you know what I do have that I can put a splash of on, which might help bring out some flavor too, is my Zesty Italian. This is really good. No artificial flavors, no hard fructose corn syrup, no synthetic colors. And I've had no issue with this being um, unrefrigerated. Doesn't go bad. I haven't had an issue. Hasn't made me sick. There's no dairy or anything in it, so it should be fine. It's mostly... um olive oil to be honest with you but um i just want to motivate you to start your journey to take steps towards your journey to do whatever it is to make your dreams and your journey reality that's all whatever that is i don't care what it is it doesn't even have to be living in a van who cares you're probably just watching this video because you stumbled upon it or you happen to be stumbling upon other van dweller videos and mine popped up in the search results no big deal that's not your dream it doesn't have to be your dream you got a dream though right you have something you want to do besides what you're doing right now if it's a career change what steps can you make towards changing your career can you work extra hours so that you can save up the money so that you can move on to a different career choice that might be making less money but it's going to make you happy i don't know Maybe you just want to write every day. Maybe you just want to start journaling. I do. That's one of mine. I want to start journaling again. I used to write stories and poetry and stuff back in the uh, middle school and early high school. Uh, probably even late elementary. I would say probably around fourth, fifth grade I started writing. But it fell by the wayside by the time I was a sophomore in high school. But uh, And all those journals and stuff are gone. I have no idea where they are. All that stuff that I wrote and drew, I used to draw all the time, doodling and real drawing and painting, and I don't do that anymore. So um, I would like to get back into some of those things. But I just want you to figure out what your dream is and figure out at least three steps you can do to start moving towards your dream. Even if it's going to take you months or years to get to the final destination, what's three steps you can start today, this week, this month before April is over? So I encourage you, in the comments, tell me what your dream is and what's one or all three steps you plan on taking to move towards your dream. All right? Love you guys. Bye.